no, 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 no. Hank, is everything all right? No, Tom, everything is not all right. Something very, very bad has happened. I'll get the heavy-duty plunger. Oh, we can't plunge our way out of this one. My favorite TV show, Bongo and McGillicuddy, is ending. Cancelled! Forever! Oh, it's okay, Hank. <laughs> there are plenty of other shows out there. Not shows I care about so much that I'd write an entire unauthorized fan guide about them! Wow, very thorough. I wish there was a way I could go right into the TV and convince Bongo and McGillicuddy not to retire. Please don't retire. Well, now that you mention it, that might just be possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> With technology, uh, Hank. I meant with technology. Sweet jump, though. You got some serious air. I call this the screen door because it turns TV screens into interdimensional doors. Get it? Yes! I can go into the TV and convince Bongo and McGillicuddy to keep on being loose cannon cops. Wait, that sounds dangerous. Oh, it's very dangerous because it could leave Hank stranded inside the TV. Or even worse. So that means don't use it. Not until we do a full week of testing and another week of result looking. <sighs> okay. Safety first, I guess. Hey, is that a computer thing? A computer huh? thing? Where? Yeah! <laughs> what are you doing? Stop! Don't no. worry, Bongo and McGillicuddy. Here I come! Oh, no! <gasps> oh! Wow. The New Town City Police Department Super Duper Bad Guys Unit? Home of the greatest crime-fighting duo in the world! McGillicuddy! <gasps> The condensation from your banana smoothie made a ring on my report. At least on our last day of work. Can't you use a coaster? <laughs> Bongo! McGillicuddy! Listen to me! I told you, we'll be out of here in a few... <laughs> Hank? Is it really you? Huh? Wow. I can't believe it. What are you talking about? You're Hank from TV. We huh? never miss an episode of Talking Tom and Friends. <laughs> It's broken. Are you sure? Try shaking it. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys. Huh? Oh, cool. Hank's on Bongo and McGillicuddy. Uh, <laughs> wait. How did Hank get in the TV? Out of my way! Oh, just Ben letting him use an untested dangerous science-y thingy. No, Hank's in there because Tom the Slowpoke couldn't catch him before he jumped to the TV screen. Hey, Hank is very agile for a guy who spends so much time not moving. <laughs> That's so Tom. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually meeting the star of my favorite TV show. Wait, I don't understand. I thought I was meeting the stars of my favorite TV show. I even <laughs> wrote the unofficial Bongo and McGillicuddy fan guide, see? That's why I'm here, to save your show. You guys can't retire. Why, you're the best detectives Newtown City has ever seen. Do you know how many villains are behind bars just because of you? The Tickler, Professor Jerkface, even your greatest foe of all, Dr. Technology. <laughs> I'm with you, McGillicuddy. Sending Dr. Technology to jail all those times were some of the proudest moments of our career. Bongo! McGillicuddy! I want your badges on my desk now! Yeah, but I'm sorry, Hank. It's time for us to quit the force. I'm getting too old for this shift. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you two. Younger cops just don't get it. They're not loose cannons, and they play by the real rules, not their own. <sighs> I just can't believe that Bongo and McGillicuddy is ending. I can't believe our entire dimension is just a TV show in your dimension. Ooh, what a crazy Monday. <laughs> ah, it's only getting crazier. <laughs> Hey, Ben, why did your desk disappear? Oh, dear. It seems Hank's trip into the TV has linked our universes. If he doesn't get back here, everything in our dimension will be sucked into the TV dimension, just like he was. I'm no scientist, but that sounds like it could cause an interdimensional collision. Ah! Oh, no! I came here to save your show, but now I have to get back home to save mine. Quick, hand me the interdimensional TV transporter. What do you mean? It's a high-tech thing that can send me through the TV. You know. Here, look. Season 4, Episode 3. The one with all the thievery. The victim suspects. Here it is. Interdimensional TV transporter. 
Uh-oh. It was stolen by your greatest foe of all, Dr. Technology. Wait a minute, McGillicuddy, you're right. That stolen transporter was never recovered. All right, boys, let's go to the jail and ask the doctor a few police-type questions. I got some bad news. Dr. Technology escaped from jail, and you boys can't chase him because your badges are on my desk. <sighs> now, I am going to close my eyes, and if them badges are gone when I open them, well, hey, that's what I get for closing my eyes. <laughs> Would you two stop all this arguing? We need a solution here. And I already offered one. We have to find a way to get Hank back. That's not a solution, Tom. That's literally just stating our goal. Quiet! I'm trying to watch Bongo and McGillicuddy and Hank over here, and you three are busy being silly, and I've about had it with all this silliness! Ginger's right. All we can do is watch the Hank show and hope for a happy ending. <laughs> hey! Technology, nice of you to show up. Please make yourself comfortable, because you're gonna be here all night! Wow, I've never seen someone be both the good cop and the bad cop. <laughs> this guy <laughs> is good <laughs> and bad. Bongo, McGillicuddy, who's this guy? Hey, I'll ask the questions here, you slimy, rotten suspect who's innocent until proven guilty. Now tell me what you did with the interdimensional TV transporter, or I'll make sure you go to a jail that doesn't let bad guys watch TV. I have no idea where that thing is. Huh, really? Then maybe you would be kind enough to explain what this was doing in your cell. My electric toothbrush? I use it to brush my teeth. Oh. All right, Bongo and McGillicuddy, let's get back to HQ. We've hit a dead end. I just have one final question. If this really is an electric toothbrush, why are your teeth so much more yellow than in your appearances in season 4, 6, and 15? Um, wouldn't someone with an electric toothbrush have a brighter smile? Don't let him get away! No. 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 Aha! Wait a minute. You knew that toothbrush was a TV transporter the whole time? Wow, incredible police work. How did you notice the tint of my teeth? Because I'm a loose cannon who plays by my own rules. And you're also the writer of the unofficial Bongo and McGillicuddy fan guide. Or should I say, official. <gasps> well, at least I'm being sent back to jail by the best. Bongo, McGillicuddy, you could really learn something from this guy. I'll be the judge of that. Hank, you can actually stop with the good cop, bad cop thing. We solved the crime. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we couldn't have done it without Hank. Or should I say, Honorary Detective Hank. Wow, I don't know what to say. This is all I've ever wanted. Bango, McGillicuddy, you gave our beloved TV star illegal access to our police material and let him interrogate a suspect? I should take your badges! and polish them and then give them back to you, because you got results. Well, Chief, that's good to hear, because me and McGillicuddy have decided to stay on the force forever! <laughs> yeah! Well, everything turned out just the way I would have wanted. <sighs> A happy ending. Tom, does this mean Hank isn't coming home? Like, ever? I hope he does, Ginger, but he's an honorary detective now. It's what he's always wanted. <sighs> <Huh>? <laughs> Oh, right. As much as I want to stay here and be a loose cannon who plays by his own rules, I have to get home fast before my world gets cancelled. Bongo, McGillicuddy, background actors playing cops, thank you for the adventure of a lifetime. Random cop, I never got to know you, but I think I'll miss you most of all. <sighs> There's no place like home. There's no place like home. There's no... That's not how it works. You just hit the red button. Oh. Uh, I do that. Wait, Hank, you forgot your badge. Uh, 
What happened? Am I home? Of course you're home. You just dove into the TV and knocked yourself out for like nine minutes. But, but I was just in the TV. Bongo was there, and McGillicuddy was there, and- You must have just dreamt all that when you hit your head. Oh, really? Then how do you explain this honorary detective badge I got? <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're home, buddy. Huh? Ooh. <laughs> Thank you, Bongo and McGillicuddy.